Obviously, you would never find fakery on the BBC, and I would never mislead you. As you can see, I'm now ready for Strictly. And I think you'll agree, I'm an obvious winner. OK, so I confess, and you may possibly have suspected, that wasn't me. The sequence you just saw was created by visual artist Eric Drass, who explores the effects of technology on our understanding of truth. So this is created using a piece of software that learns your face, what's known as deep fake. The software itself comes from the internet, downloaded for free, and if you've got a teenager with a super powerful gaming computer in their bedroom, that's just the kind of kit you need to do this kind of fakery. Right. Deep fake is generally used for pornographic clips. You take the face of a famous actress and you map it onto the body of a pornographic star and you send that out. Secret sex tape. Oh, well, I'm delighted you haven't decided to do that with it. It immediately seems to be, well, I can put someone in a compromising position, I can blackmail someone. Absolutely. Well, this one, this, this one here of um, Obama. We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time. For instance, they could have me say things like, President Trump is a total and complete dipshit. The now, actor Jordan Peele is able to not only give a convincing voice, but he's able to manipulate the video footage of Obama basic. to match. But how we move forward in the age of information is going to be the difference between whether we survive or whether we become some kind of fucked up dystopia. Pretty effective. Is the dystopian vision the correct one? It's inevitably going to be used for something really grim. That clip of Obama, we enjoy the fact that it sounds like him and looks like him, but we know it's not because of what he says. Mm. Whereas if you make it something plausible, it's much more likely to spread. And yeah. the, uh, we all live in our own filter bubbles and tend to share content that we agree with. So if I see a politician I hate saying something objectionable, I'm much more likely to pass it on to my friends and believe that it's true because my own worldview is being supported. And do we have any defence against that? The best defence is to be remain suspicious. Mm -hmm.